Uh, Declan Rice reportedly suffered uh, a broken toe ahead of Arsenal's trip to Chelsea on Sunday. Do you play with a broken toe? Never. You don't? Uh, well, um, no, but I mean, do you? If you've got a broken uh, toe, uh, do you play? I mean, they probably inject it and then they're good to go. But I always think about the lasting effects after that. Long, later down the line. It's broken. <sighs> yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, later on in the show, we'll be looking ahead to three of this weekend's fixtures with our friends at three. And we want to hear your prediction. So save our number, 03717 in your phone. Go to WhatsApp. Open it up and send us a voice note predicting one or two or even all three of the following games. First up is Watford against Oxford. It's live on TalkSport 2 in the Championship tonight. If you're on your way to the game, drop us a voice note. Let us know what's going to happen. Uh, game two is Wolves against Southampton. Big one, that in the Premier League. If Wolves lose, what happens to Gary O'Neill? The final game is Mansfield against Wrexham in League One tomorrow. Wrexham have drawn their last two. Can they get back to winning ways? If any of those float your boat, Watford v Oxford, Wolves against Southampton, or Mansfield against Wrexham, then send us a, a voice note on WhatsApp, 03717 Send that, and you've got a great chance to feature later on in our show. The Big Football Network on Talk Sport with three. Football needs a big network. Keep connected to the team you love on three. Now we're talking about Newcastle and Jose. He's been heavily linked to the club, but Newcastle fans, do you want him? 03717 their boss at the moment, Eddie Howe, has been speaking to the media ahead of his side's game away to Forest this weekend. He said he's still determined to win a trophy with the club. Yeah, of course I'm happy with the progress. You always want more. You're always not entirely satisfied because... We haven't got the the one thing that we we wanted when we coming in when we came in, sorry, which was a trophy. That's the dream. That's still the dream, um, and it's still driving us. Yeah. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. We've just heard from the manager. Do you want him as the manager though, yeah, we Owen? Do. Oh, I agree with you, Owen. Hello. Oh, hello, fellas. Can you hear us? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, right. Nice to talk to you. Love the show. Thanks, Always Owen. Always listening to you. Uh, I can't really say which presenter I like best because I think these are all so good. Anyway, I know you'll have all that call has to get to. Um, the question you've, you've asked, Jose Mourinho, if 10, 15 years ago, I think any Newcastle fan would have took your hand off. I think the majority of Newcastle fans though, like Eddie Howe. They like what he's doing. Yes, he's had a little bit of a blip, um, but hopefully things seem to be going on track. Done your team, Benny. Oh, this... <laughs> I just listen to that. That's amazing. You know I like? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the laugh after. <laughs> you know, I, I like Eddie Howe, and I think I think the reality is, I think 10, 15 years ago, you don't get Jose, do you? Because Jose's a, no. you know, what no. I mean, he's at the clubs that are competing at the top end. But I like Eddie Howe. I think he's doing a great job. Yes, I know he's had a bit of a blip, but I mean, he brought Champions League football back for the first time in, in a long time yeah, for yeah. Newcastle as well. And I, I do think with a bit more investment. I think Newcastle can certainly push for top six every single season, but they need to get some of the average players I've got out there. Mm. That's Owen, the problem. Owen, listen, thank you for your call. Just quickly, I know you said you couldn't tell between the two which one of us you prefer. If you had to go on holiday for a week in Ibiza with one, who would you choose? Oh, I don't, I don't think my last would be happy you answered this. Uh, I'll be the three of us. I think I, oh, I think I think probably Ben he could actually not take that back because he played for them. Uh, do you know what? Was. I was waiting for that. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> do you know what I, mean? I was waiting for that. Good choice. Well, go and wash your mouth out, Owen. I knew he uh, was going to say that about the Sunderland. Let, and rightly so. <laughs> Let's speak to Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hey, guys. You all right? I'm great. How are you today? Yeah, good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, good. Love the show. First time caller. Oh, as that's well. nice. Thank you, man. Very kind yeah. of you. What would you like to say? Uh, well, first of all, it's a shame that Darren's on the eggs, you know, the Sunderland connection. Oh, I love one. I can forgive him. Oh, they hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I was just saying, um, you know, I've got a few points, really, about the show's in Mourinho. But first of all, I think, you know, what Eddie's done at the club, you know, I don't think many managers in the past can replicate what he's done. He's took us pretty much out the bottom three, almost straight into the Champions League. And bear in mind, we only just got knocked out of group stages because of a handball that was never a handball as well. Yeah, he got robbed, yeah. So he was really, really unlucky. Um, and then since then, we kind of not fully recovered from it. However, everyone keeps going on about Newcastle's slow start this season. We're three points off fourth, you know? Mm. We're, he's doing a phenomenal job. So I don't think Eddie Howe should have any pressure on his job at all. However, if the day did come, which hopefully doesn't come anytime soon, that Eddie does leave, I think with the Sir Bobby connection with Jose, and, you know, Jose learning his trade through Sir Bobby as well, and he's come out many times and says how much he loves St. James's Park, 
I think, you know, when, when Jose wants to go somewhere, like, you know, when he went back to Chelsea and he was like, I'm the happy one, and it all started well and he won the Premier League. And, and even when he went to United, sorry, I know United fans say, like, no, we hated him and stuff like that. But once he got Zlatan, who said he'd take a bullet for him, once he had him in his dressing room, he had the locker room and he won the European trophy and finished second. Once Zlatan went and Paul Pogba was there, and they always say, you know, no player's bigger than the club. The club made the wrong decision. They should have got rid of Pogba, not Mourinho, because you've been rubbish since. Okay, Jamie, thanks for your call. Let's go to John, also a Newcastle fan. Hi, Johnny. Hi, lads, you How are you? Yeah, good, good. First time caller. Oh, that's again. nice. Um, what, what do you mean again? How can you be a first time caller again? Well, that's a tough thing to say, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> anyway, I'll start, I'll start this conversation again, right? <laughs> are you a first time caller, John? Yes, I'm a first-time okay. caller, I promise. That's, that's, right. I don't it's mind, it's fine, it's absolutely nice. Go on, then off you go, pal. Um, wouldn't have Mourinho, think he's over the hill now, think he's past it and gone, all right? Yeah. Ha- happy with how, but big questions for Benty. Um, listen, our 11 on paper is right up there in the top four, so I want to know who he's bringing in and who's, who's bang average. What, in, in your in your squad? Because obviously it's your squad that you... Well, because if we go for your bench, Almiron, you can't you can't find better than him. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Okay, Kraft. Yep, I agree. Okay, so I that's agree. two. Uh, De Bravka is a goalkeeper, but even in, if you go to your starting eleven, right? I know your starting eleven's decent, but to get to the next level, you're not getting to the Champions League again. You, you can replace Longstaff. You can replace Willock. You can replace Joe Linton. Dan Byrne was your centre back. Shaw. Even Nick Pope, there's even Nick Pope was in terms of a top level goalkeeper. Mm. I think Dan Byrne's been ever present this season as well, isn't he, John? Yeah, he has. He has, yeah, and he's, he's done well. So you, if you're starting 11, I reckon there's probably two that would get into, I guess, City or Liverpool squad. And maybe that's Gr- Gramerez and Isaac. And, Gordon, actually, and Gordon, Gordon, those three. Yeah, but other than that. So do, do you not think our 11 can be top four our best 11 not right now no 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 who have you got, have you got ahead of us if you don't mind us asking what what teams have we got ahead of you yeah top, Li- top, top four right, the- I, know, I know City and Liverpool speak for themselves and Arsenal yeah okay that's three so, Chelsea yeah yeah Villa you've got Villa ahead of us yeah yep yeah. Tottenham yeah. Tottenham so uh, my seventh at the minute Okay, yeah. you got Brighton that's up there that have been flying. Oh, come on, don't push it now. Brighton? Newcastle better than Brighton. Well, They've got what? a better squad. Newcastle got a better squad. First team. First 11 is what John was saying. Oh, I don't know. Brighton's are decent. I'm not so saying they're not. Yeah, where's Man United? Right, thanks, right. John. <laughs> Cheers. Don't need to push it. I was helping you out there for a minute. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.